Now we'll take a look at some code samples wherein we'll see how things are with and without knockout JS. So without knockout JS, usually we just create a form and we provide IDs to the elements. For instance, over here, let's say we have task name and two other divs, and we want to populate the task name in this text box and then com completed status and created date in these two devs. So what we have done is we have provided them unique IDs and once that is done all we are doing is going the jQuery way included the library and then as we have our model over here or you can see the object over here which is having three properties to do completed and created date. All we are doing is as soon as the DOM is ready we are just binding or we are just populating the values to the respective elements by finding them with their IDs and then assigning the respective properties to these controls or elements. Whereas with knockout way if you go you can see that we have the view defined over here and this object is treated as the view model. So this view is having the input box same way as we have over here but the only difference is the data bind attribute and the data bind attribute makes it really very simple and you just have to specify this value attribute of the text box will have its value from view model tasks to do property similarly this divs text attribute will have its property from view model tasks completed property and this one will have its value or the text attribute will have its value from the created date property of the view model task. So that way you can just see how easy it is to define things with knockout. You don't have to remember the IDs and things like that. You have mentioned it over here and the next line that you need to write is just include the knockout library and then write this one line ko.apply bindings where q is the knockout object, apply bindings as the method and you're passing the view model to this method. And that is all you need to do to show the values of this view model in this view. As simple as that. So let's run it and see the results. You can see that this was without knockout and this was with knockout. We have excluded the observables because we have not discussed it yet. So without the observables, this is how knockout.js 